Did you know, as a veterinarian, I'm not crazy worried about ticks. In general, they're just arachnids. I'm worried about what is that tick carrying in its body that it's going to spit up into your cat or a dog over the next 12 to 48 hours as it's sucking on the blood. Let's figure this out. Regarding the tick in general, if a tick gets on your dog and it causes a superficial infection, let's say you, you don't get the head out when you pull the, the tick out, or let's say the tick's been there for a while, you can definitely get a skin infection. Of course, the tick is compromising the integrity of the skin. They're causing a, a puncture, a really superficial and small, but it's a puncture, and those can get infected. You can see pus, redness, discharge. The more concerning thing that we as veterinarians consider is what is that tick carrying? So, ticks are an arachnid, just like spiders, they have eight legs, they're crawling around. Ticks carry a lot of, we call them tick-borne diseases. So, we literally attach a handful of diseases to ticks. That may include, but not limited to, things like Lyme disease. And there's a handful of Ehrlichii diseases, or anaplasmosis diseases. Or, maybe we're thinking about Rocky Mountain, spotted fever. So there's a handful of different tick-borne diseases that a tick will carry to your cat or dog, they will bite down, and over about a 12 to 48 hour period, they will spit out all these diseases, and they can cause disease uh, short-term or long-term that can be hard to get rid of. The most important thing when thinking about ticks, I should say the most important, but keeping them off your dog or cat, or when they get on your cat or dog, getting them off. Number one, guys, if you have a tick on your cat or dog, getting it off as quickly as possible will reduce the chances of them spreading disease. It usually takes hours, if not a day or two, for a tick to spread a bloodborne disease like Lyme disease or Ehrlichii or Rickettsial, whatever. It takes some time. So get that tick off as soon as possible. Number two is do some kind of preventive. I know sometimes it's controversial. Some people want to give a topical or an oral because they're worried about how it will affect their dog's health in general. If you are in an area that has a high oh, incidence of like Lyme or Ehrlichia or Rocky Mountain, anything that could cause chronic disease, you have to weigh the costs and the benefits of giving meds. So with that being said, giving something to help out to prevent the, the tick from attaching or biting on for an extended period of time is really beneficial. If your veterinarian's worried about a tick-borne disease, they can run a 40X, they can run a large number of panels. Literally, guys, when, when we are worried about tick-borne disease, we will literally run these large panels that have every every tick-borne disease on it, and it will say negative, 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 maybe one positive. And if we get that one positive, let's say a Babesia or something funny like that, then we will treat it. A lot of times we use a lot of doxycycline, depending, it's an antibiotic, depending on what we come across on the results from the reference lab. Sometimes you can treat it and it goes away. Other times you have repeat and problems as we move forward. It just becomes more of a chronic problem. So trying to prevent these diseases from happening early is really, really important, especially when you're dealing with things that can be so chronic. As always, guys, I hope this was helpful. I know I kind of just threw it out there regarding ticks and diseases, but making sure you prevent the tick from attaching. If they attach, get them off as fast as possible. And if you believe your dog or your kitty is sick or has a tick-borne disease, getting it diagnosed and treated can be really, really helpful for the long-term success and, and reduction of symptoms long-term. As always, guys, I hope you and your doggies, your kitties, whatever you have at home, are happy and healthy, and you guys take care. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.